I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be my bookshelf tour video. I'm super excited because my bookshelf has changed a whole lot in the last, what, year? I think it's been a year since I filmed my last one. Like, I've read a lot more books, a lot more books have been added onto the shelf, and just lots of things. It's changed now. It's two shelves instead of just one. So, you know, good job, Stephanie, on spending a lot of money and reading all the books, at least. Okay, not all the books, because you guys have already seen my TBR. Which, you know, that's... that's I didn't even talk about it. So really quickly before we get into the actual bookshelf tour, I just want to say that the way my sh the, 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 the way my shelves are organized is the very first shelf in the beginning of it all is my favorite shelf and that is like my all-time favorites. Like these are I want to reread them all the time, all day, every day, because they just like hit home and they're just so beautiful and then everything after that is in alphabetical order by author last name I don't remember if I mentioned that so let's get on into the tour this is my first shelf and I do have a couple little knickknacks on here I have a candle from Guatemala that is absolutely gorgeous I love it isn't it the cutest thing ever like seriously I have a bottle of Old Par, uh, it's Deluxe Scotch Whiskey. Yes, I'm of age to drink, I just, I got it on Easter Sunday and I think it's such a cute bottle that I was like, I have to put it in front of my Outlander stuff. I have this cool little thing and it has a bunch of swords, one of them's missing, but I think it looks super nice on the shelf. I think it's pretty, it used to be my grandmother's way back when, so yes, love this. And I also have a jewelry box that my mother got me when she went to Spain. Oh, it's a little. No, that's just how it is. So I just keep, you know, keep things in it. But I think it is such a beautiful box. It's probably my favorite box I have. And I have a couple of them everywhere. Starting off with the books, even my top shelf, which is my favorite, it's all alphabetical order by author's last name. And it's continued like that throughout the entire bookshelf. But the first one... Even though it's my favorites, I had to like put them in some order because I'm really horrible at picking favorites. First up is the Red Rising Trilogy by Pierce Brown. I have my original copy of Red Rising, which was paperback, and then I have Red Rising, Golden Sun, and Morning Star. A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which of course has The Hunger Games. Catching Fire and Mockingjay. Then starting with Outlander, I have three copies of Outlander by Dana Gabaldon, two copies of Dragonfly and Amber, and two copies of Voyager. Post by Stephanie Meyer, and Twilight, the special 10th anniversary edition, which of course also has Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Now this is the start of the rest of my shelf, so of course it starts back at A again, which you know, whatever. On here I have a sugar skull that my mother got me from Mexico, which I absolutely adore. I really love knickknacks on my shelves, I do. Crystal bubbling ball that used to be somewhere else in the house and my mom was like, oh I don't want it. I was like, oh that would look great on my shelf, so woohoo. Top of my books for some reason, I keep my Kindle just randomly there on the top over here. And then I have this put away there because nothing will happen to it. And I'm sorry, hold on, I'm opening it up. It's this really beautiful box, and inside it has a collection of wooden combs. So I just think it's beautiful, and obviously I'm never going to use them. But I like to keep it safe, and I put it right underneath my Kindle on my shelf. Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. Cemetery Girl by David Bell. His name's freaking covered by a sticker. Then I have a collection of memoirs by Augustin Burroughs, which is A Wolf at the Table, Running with Scissors, and Dry. I have not actually read this, and I will let you know when I haven't read a book, because I have a few on my shelves I haven't read. But this is Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. I just never want to, I'm not, I'm never going to get rid of it, but I have no intentions of reading it at the moment. 
Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. War of the Witches by Maite Carranza. House of Night series. I own the first eight books. The first four are in a paperback, so I'll show you those first. First book is Marked. Second book is Betrayed. Third book is Chosen. And fourth book is Untamed. By the way, I need that necklace in my life. And then the next four books I own are in hardcover, and that is Hunted. That's the fifth book. Sixth book is Tempted. Where was I? Seventh book is Burned, and eighth book is Awakened, all by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. So, first is her prequel to The Mortal Instruments. First book is Clockwork Angel. Second book, Clockwork Prince. Third book is Clockwork Princess. The movie cover to Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Then I have the second book, City of Ashes. City of Glass, the third. City of Fallen Angels, the fourth. The only thing I keep here is this Harley Davidson Powered by Waterman. It came with a pen and I just thought the case was really cool. I have another thing from Guatemala and it's just this cute like little ceramic thing. And inside I keep hauls, although my nephew likes to eat these as candy just like I do. So it used to be full and now it's not. A light bulb that I'm currently not using because I switched it. And just a pair of sunglasses that I keep on my shelf because I wear these a lot. So, you know. We have the fifth book, City of Lost Souls, and the sixth book, City of Heavenly Fire. And of course, that's the end of the Mortal Instruments series. And I also own the first four books in the new covers that came out in the Walmart exclusive edition, which is hardcover, but it doesn't have an actual sleeve, a dust cup, jacket, whatever you call it. Yep, they're beautiful. The Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. Vain Chronicles, which at the time of filming this, I am currently reading, which Cassandra Clare also wrote with Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson. Lady Midnight, which is the book one in the Dark Artifices trilogy. Dark Secrets, one by Elizabeth Chandler, which has Legacy of Lies and Don't Tell. Kiss by an Angel series which again is by Elizabeth Chandler and it has Kiss by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. And these are the last three books to the Kiss by an Angel series, which the fourth book is Ever Crossed, fifth book is Everlasting, and sixth book is Ever After. Hello Goodbye by Emily Chenoweth. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stefan Chabowski. The Scarecrow by Michael Connolly. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle with Florian Wayne Earle. It was uh, with an introduction by John Green. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. Beastly by Alex Flynn. This is the last one because I'll show you in a minute, but the other shelf on the bottom is TBR Books. And I'll explain that in a moment. So this is the last actual shelf with like actual books. This is an overview, of course, continues the whole ABC thing. Let's take off the two things I have there. So the first thing you see is this like leaf thing and it has the candle Autumn Hayride inside of it. That still needs to get burnt. I have a lot of candles in my room. You're going to keep figuring that out. So I have that there just because, you know, why not? And then I have this adorable bronze, whatever you call this type of material, pig. And inside of it, I keep like really weird coins I get from other countries when I travel and stuff. In the Woods and the Likeness by Tana French. And I have the Castor Chronicles by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, which consists of the first book, Beautiful Creatures. Beautiful Darkness is second. Third is Beautiful Chaos and Beautiful Redemption, which is kind of hiding over there is the last and final in that series. I Pray Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, Fall to Our Stars, An Abundance of Catherines, Looking for Alaska, and Paper Towns. That's the only one I haven't read. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, In Game The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton, Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. Then I have the Trill trilogy, which the first book is Switch, second book is Torn, and the third book is Ascend all by Amanda Hawking. Conversion and the Physic Book of Delivering Stain, both by Katherine Howe. Grown Up Kind of Pretty by Jocelyn Jackson. Life After Genius by M. Ann Jacoby. Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker, both by E.L. James. Beautiful Malice by Rebecca James. This is an overview of the bookshelf. And what I was seeing a little bit ago was that the last shelf over here is all TBR books. I have a shelf underneath my desk. And that's what it looks like. I have books on top of it. 
and I have a chair in the way and my camera lens cover <laughs> but this is what the bottom and the thing is is I don't want to show these because I actually did a TBR shame tag so if it's already been uploaded I'll link it down below but if not it will be posted soon I don't know when this is going up so those two are TBR and ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> On this shelf, all I have is a Belle Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen, The Cypress House by Michael Corita, book one in the His Fair Assassins trilogy. This is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, Fevers, whatever. Nightlight, a parody by the Harvard Land, Harvard, Harvard Lampoon. <laughs> The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stiegel Arson. Darkly Dreaming Dexter, book one in the Dexter series by Jeff Lindsay. A bind-up of The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry, which consists of The Giver, Gathering Blue, Sun, and Messenger. The Twilight Saga, the official illustrated guide. I think I've only flipped through it once. I own it more for collecting purposes. I own the movie cover to the host by Stephanie Meyer. I own Twilight, New Moon, and Breaking Dawn in the movie covers. I have a random copy of Twilight, which is my I take anywhere when I'm in a book slump and I feel like reading type copy. I have the collector's edition of Twilight and then my original copy of Twilight and New Moon on this shelf. I have another little box and this box just, you know, has like random things inside. Then I have Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner and Breaking Dawn. The 100 by Cass Morgan. Mortal series by Alison Noel. The first two books are Evermore and Blue Moon. The last three books that I own, I'm missing one, is Shadowland, Dark Flame, and Night Star. Night Film by Marisha Pessel. The Chain Letter Duology, which consists of Chain Letter and the Ancient Evil by Christopher Pike. Is Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, and The Last Olympian. The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. First book, Divergent. Second book, Insurgent. Third book, Allegiant. Next shelf has, you know, my Harry Potter books and stuff. So on the shelf, I have my Hogwarts journal that I got from you know, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I've never written in it. It's blank page, but this is like so pretty. That's like an actual like thing. But it's so pretty. This random thing, which I used to keep perfume in because that's what it's for, you know, you like. Actually, it still smells like the perfume inside, even though I like washed it. But I just think this is so awesome. I got it at Marshall's years and years ago photo that I took of my nephew because he's annoyingly adorable. This first thing I have I thought I'd actually like show you, show you. This is actually my nephew's book but since he keeps it at my house I keep it on my shelf with my Harry Potter stuff and it is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, a deluxe pop-up book. So it's like super cool and it does things like look. And then, oh, did you guys actually see that? Yep. I don't know. I think it's super neato. For a collection of short stories, a divergent collection, whatever. Pretty much the prequel for four, whatever. Asylum by Madeline Rowe. Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell. I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and then the American, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Chamber Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and the Deathly Hollows. Revolver by Marcus Cedric. A The Complete Poems of Anne at Sexton by Anne Sexton. But these are the first two binds ups in the Night World series. So Night World Book 1, which has Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, and Spellbinder. And then it has, uh, here's Volume 2, Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. By Book 3 in the Night World series by L.J. Smith, which this one has Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies by Seth Graham Smith, obviously originally done by Jane Austen. He just went in and added zombies and stuff. The movie's super awesome, by the way. Betwixt by Tara Bray Smith. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Three of his million books, The Notebook, Dear John, and the last song by Nicholas Sparks. The Mysterious Benedict Society, and then book two is The Mysterious Benedict Society and the Perilous Journey. 
I don't know, maybe eventually I'll read these one day. And this is the last book I actually have that is on my shelf I haven't read, and I'll read it in at some point in my life. And that is Dracula the Undead, which is a sequel to the original classic by Dacre Stoker and Ian Holt. And of course, I have my illustrated Dracula by Bram Stoker, but the illustrations are done by Jay Lee. The Balefire series, this is a bind-up of all four books by Kate Tiernan, and it has A Chalice of Wind, A Circle of Ashes, A Feather of Stone, and A Necklace of Water. Book two is The Coven, book three is Blood Witch, four is Dark Magic, book five is Awakening, book six is Spellbound, book seven is The Calling, book eight is Changeling, book nine is Strife, book ten is Seeker, book eleven is Origins, Book 12 is Eclipse, book 13 is Reckoning, and book 14 is Full Circle. These books, I can just say right now, I have not read them. I have two Barnes & Noble, like, what is it, classic bind-ups or something like that. This is Anne Rice, and this is all of Jane Austen's seven novels. And then I have uh, one by H.G. Wells and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the last book in the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. This is Night's Child. Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Afterworld by Scott Westerfeld. The Story of Edgar Soddle by David Roblowski. The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. The last shelf I have is kind of a makeshift shelf. Sorry, you can see my bottle of water. And I say that because I needed a place to put my last paperbacks because they actually take up space, a lot of space on my shelf where I had them. So I wanted to do something. Now, I got these crates, and the cool thing is they have these little things on them, and when you stack them on top of each other, whether it's the tall way or the side way, so that way it's wider as opposed to taller, they kind of interlock, and honestly, this is super awesome. I, like, put my book that I'm reading at the time because it's right next to where I, like, sit and read. But I freaking love... And then on the bottom, just because those are heavier books, I put my L.J. Smith books at the bottom. But I'll probably just put the books up here to show you because that way it will be so much easier for me. Leaves of Grass. Um, it's the original 1855 edition with, uh, obviously it's by Walt Whitman. And it's edited by Laura Ross. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. Olivia, the fifth um, book in the Logan Family series by B.C. Andrews. Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, Blood Memory by Gregory Isles, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, and these are all part of the Castile Family series, but I've forgotten which order they go in, so that's Dark Angel, Web of Dreams, and Fallen Hearts, all by B.C. Andrews, The Diary of a Young Girl, and Frank, it was edited by Otto H. Frank and Mirjam Pressler. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Dead Before Dark by Wendy Corsi Staub, Dead Sleep by Greg Isles, A Concise Biography of Adolf Hitler by Thomas Futches or Fux, one of those two. This is Deep Down by Karen Harper, Go Ask Alice, and Jay's Journal by Anonymous, Impulse and Burned, both by Ellen Hopkins, Vampire Diaries The Awakening, book one, Book two is The Struggle, God. The Secret Circle, this is The Initiation and The Captive Part One. This is The Captive Part Two and The Power. Dark Visions, which consist of The Power, The Possessed, and The Passion. Stephen, uh, The Vampire Diaries, Stephen Diaries, Volume One, Origins. Three, The Craving, but I don't actually own Volume Two, so can't read it until I decide to buy them all. This is volume, like, books three and four. This is The Fury and Dark Reunion. And then this is the first of three trilogies. This is, uh, because it's a very confusing series. It starts off with four books, and then it has little mini trilogies for the series. So this is book one, volume one, The Return, Nightfall. This is volume two of The Return, and it's Shadow Souls. This is volume three, the return from the return midnight. This is the Hunters trilogy, volume one, Phantom. I hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.